So they make things easier with that easy reel for your big umbilical cord. And you've got your sewer outlet right there. But you've got two. You've got one here. You've got another one up in the front of the trailer. Right there. And then, you know, like most Grand Design, it's got the Nautilus wet bay here to control all of those functions. This seems a little bit on the light side. Um, it's only got 1,746 pounds of uh, cargo capacity, which again, that's that's 1,300 pounds less than what our trailer has, which seems kind of crazy to me. It does have 7,000 pound axles under it. I guess maybe you might be able to increase that if you went up, put 8,000 pound axles under it, but for $120,000, I don't know. It just seems a little. It seems a little shy. They 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 have built in a tremendous amount of storage space, but not enough. Look under the nose here. It's prepped for a generator. It's got the rear kitchen, and Angie seems to really like it. So it does have a residential fridge. It looks like back here. It's got a bunch of counter space back here. This this slide and the other slide come in. So you wouldn't be able to get up here. Yep, unless this slide's out. Look at that oven. Yeah, it's almost... And the roof vent. I mean, it's amazing. Bar seating here overlooking the TV, the TV area yeah. with double opposing slides. We walk up here to the front room, the front bedroom. Washer, dryer, closet right there. Got a king size bed here. Got little tiny shelves on either side of the bed for those maybe to put your cell phone or a medical device, some side. There's no door right there. It seems weird. It almost seems like there should be a door right there, big wall space to get into the bathroom. We'll walk around. And this is why there's the, no door. That's why. Look at this bathroom. So we gotta... And look, it's a solid shower. The other one we looked at was a two-piece shower. This is a solid, solid. I'm gonna step in. Corner, corner toilet, so you got plenty of leg room. And then uh, you got a skylight there in the... So I do believe that that's the same type of a shower head that is in Nate and Marissa from Less Junk, More Journeys. Solitude. This is, it's just awesome. But how long is this trailer, Ange? It's a little long. And what are the cons about it? You'd have to open the kitchen slide to get to the kitchen. Yeah. And you'd have to open the living room slide to get to the kitchen. But they're passenger side slides, so that's always a good thing. Adventure without limits. Tomgar TXEV rechargeable by Volta. Got an 80 mile range. 120 horsepower. What we came, we saw, did we conquer the Tampa RV show, Ange? No. Wow. <laughs> There's a reason it's a super show. Yeah. I, I, no, we walked and walked and walked. We walked through, I don't think we saw it all. By, oh. by any means. Oh, by, yeah, by any means. We, uh, we're going to have uh, several videos, uh, probably a series of three videos that just showcase some of the ones that stood out to us. And not all that stood out to us. No. Uh, unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties with a few of uh, my recording moments, but hey, that's life. <laughs> but uh, we met some fantastic people. We did. We got to meet up with uh, Brad and Diana of It's About Time Now. Put a link to their channel above. Absolutely a fantastic couple. 
Uh, they are from the Fort Myers area here in Florida and their channel, although they've been all over the country, mostly focuses on stuff and activities to do here in Florida. Right. So if you're interested in uh, coming to Florida and seeing some sites, certainly check out their page. We also met up with uh, Dave and Tanya of Texas Family Camping, yes. who are a full-time family. Had a fantastic uh, meet up with them and put their link up here above us. It's the first two days, fairly busy. Weather was fantastic. The last two days, drizzly and cold. And not as many people. Yeah, somebody said that uh, the first two days exceeded and, and blew the record of attendance out. I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm not in those exact circles, but it was a lot. Uh, it started raining and drizzly yesterday. It was uh, We saw a lot of the trailers that were parked here move on out. And, and it's Sunday morning now, and uh, it's all, it, it's not a ghost town, but... But considerably less. I mean, it was so busy the first few days. Trailers coming in, trailers leaving, trailers coming in, trailers leaving. Yeah. New neighbors every day. All right. Well, we're going to head up to uh, the Three Flags RV Resort. We got a reservation tonight. You know, dump and clean our tanks before we hit the pause. If something comes up, we'll fill you in. Well, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, what do you do, Ange? Subscribe and ring the bell. Yeah, follow our journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road. Bye.